Noita. I got the Noita up. All right. Hey, everybody, and welcome to another video with your friend, calm little buddy. Today, I want to show you something really quick, really simple. A lot of people, when they're, you know, starting out with Noita, you know, they, they don't know how to build a wand. They don't know how to build this. They don't know how to do that. There are certain wands, like standard wands, that you can build. Like, we've got this one, which is just like a, a really fast shooting wand. We've got this one, which is a telly wand. This one, which is a, a black hole wand. But sometimes you need a big, big, big damage wand. Now, let me show you one of the easiest big damage wands to make. Now, the only thing that's in here that you probably can't find on a regular run is your divide by three spell. This you can find by uh, killing the alchemist, taking that green key, going to all the music boxes, kicking it, and then going to the, uh, the coral chest. If you don't know anything about that, just look up coral chest, noita, and that will show you how to unlock your divide by three spells, your divide by spells. Once you have this unlocked, you will find these occasionally in certain places, uh, but you'll definitely be able to get them from a coral chest, whatever. Divide by three is just the simplest and easiest. How does this work? I have a little extra mana because this isn't the greatest one in the world. It's not the fastest one in the world either, but it's real simple. If, we, we, if you had a better wand, you wouldn't even need this. So you just have your tentacle with timer, heavy shot, spells to power, I have short range homing, probably better to just have regular homing. Do not take the homing perk at something different. I mean, it'll work, but I wouldn't do that unless you absolutely know that you want it for sure. Then you have your divide by three, and then you have your copy of Omega. Now, this is another one that if you don't know how to kill the alchemist, you might have to do that. But this, the reason I'm showing you this, this will actually do about a trillion damage. It's, it's, it's over 100 billion. I don't know if it's a trillion. Maybe it's 100 billion. Anyway, it's enough damage to kill a 33 orb Colmy if you can get the shot correctly. Uh, the way that this basically works is your spells to power is going to, with your divide by three, is going to make a whole bunch of stuff because this is going to be three of these, which is going to do all of these again, and then it just starts putting everything out. It really makes a huge huge amount of spells which then spells to power converts that all over into extra damage and this allows you to release this at the end of it this little sparky plug at the end of it let me show you so we'll try to see if we can go just find like something simple to hit right now i'm in the middle of a uh, 33 orb run as it is i've already killed colmy though so okay we can hit these guys. See if you can watch the damage number on that. Did you show it? It's hard to see. Dude! There you go. See that big number? What I might do is pause the video. When I show you this. Yeah, some of it even just gets cut off, but... Come on now. There we go. Alright, so that's it, basically. So, if you need to make yourself a really super powerful damage wand... Let's get out of here. I don't want to get hurt. We're going to have to go... We're going looking for orbs in a minute. If you need to make a big damage wand, whether it's in regular and new game plus and... Whatever you're doing, this is one of the simplest ones that you can do. Easiest thing. Again, tentacle with timer, heavy shot, spells to power, short range homing, divide by three, and omega plus your spark bolt. You don't need to have this uh, wand refresh. I just have this here because I was sticking stuff at the end of it. It didn't end up working the way that I wanted it anyway. But that's your deal. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven spells to at least over a billion damage.